everyone, it's Melissa Phillips. Uh, today we're going to make a mini book using the Paper Tray Ink Library Card Tag Die, the Library Pocket Die, and the Library Card Die, and then a few others as well. This is a super easy little mini book and you can dress it up however you want. To begin with, I cut um, the library card tag die from white cardstock, and then I used my green tea leaves paper, and I cut a two and a quarter inch strip, and then ran that through my die so that it'll, it fit right at the bottom of the tag die. I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that. Okay, and then my next step is I cut a pocket using the library pocket die and some classic craft felt. And I, I went ahead and assembled this one and I stitched up the sides in order to secure it, but um, you could use paper, cardstock, whatever you feel works best for you. I also went ahead and cut a tag using the fillable frames number nine die and that's just going to slip right here in the front. This is going to be our cover and I stamped it using this the Simply You stamp set, an image from that and then Simply Chartreuse ink. Another embellishment for the front, I used the Turning a New Leaf die and simply chartreuse bitty dot. We're going to cut that as well and we'll go ahead and start stamping our our sentiment at the top. Okay, so across the top we are going to stamp using Aquamist ink and an image from the Simply You stamp set. It's just going to go right under the punched hole. And then, this is a little mini book all about someone special in your life, so we'll make it um, them as the, the theme of our book. You, and then a sentiment on each page so that you kind of have prompts. I used a sentiment from that same set, stamp set and Simply Chartreuse ink, so this says you are beautiful inside and out. And then to make it a little bit fun, I went ahead and threaded a, an Aquamist button that was the same size as that O, and I'm going to adhere it right to the center, just to make it kind of playful. I have a thing about mini books. I love them. I think they're so much fun, but I love them even more when they're plump and they're full and they're filled with texture, things that you can touch. and ways that you can interact with the mini book. So we'll make this as, um, as fun and playful as possible with little bits of interaction along the way. So we're going to go ahead and place our felt pocket about right there. And go ahead and put our turning a new leaf right there. And then we're going to slip the tag right there. Okay, now that we've got the basic cover assembled, I cut a 15-inch strip of aqua mist satin. And I'm just going to wrap that around and center it over that felt pocket and tie a bow there. This is going to give us even more dimension and depth and fullness and that's just how I like my my mini albums especially the cover the cover is fun to to dress up and and pile full of embellishments the inside you probably want to keep a little bit more flat but doesn't necessarily have to be that way so just tug and pull on your tails get them just how you want them Trim them up a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, then there's just one thing missing, and that is a button at the top of our tag. You can never have too many buttons. So I've already got one threaded with some button twine. I'm just going to tie it on there. And I'm going to leave my tails long. And there you go. There's our cover. So now we'll get busy and we'll work on a couple pages for the inside. And you can go crazy making your own. Okay. The easy thing about this little mini album is all you've got to do is change the color of your cardstock and use different paper, different colors of felt, but keep the basic design the same. That'll enable you to have uh, a lot more fun, but get through the process really quickly. So for the second, or excuse me, the first page, I used um, Aqua Mist cardstock and then Simply Chartreuse Gingham. And after I cut my two and a quarter inch strip, I ran it through my library card tag die so I could get my corners rounded so it fits just perfectly there. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that right there at the bottom. Okay. And then before we adhere the pocket, I cut this one from Vintage Cream and used the library pocket die once again. Uh, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment up at the top like we did on the first page. And I think we'll go ahead and just use Aqua Mist ink once again. Stamp it just under the punched hole. choose a different sentiment for this page. This one will say, you make me so very happy. And I think I'll go ahead and use some Simply Chartreuse for that sentiment. right under it. Okay. Now we can go ahead and adhere our vintage cream pocket. About right there. And the fun thing about the pockets is that you can use them. Um, I'm going to stamp this with the library card stamp. But if you wanted to slip photos in there or memorabilia, um, my goodness, you could even fill it full of little treats, make a, a sucker pocket, something like that. Um, it'll work just perfectly. So for this one, we'll use the stamp set that coordinates with this particular project. I'll use Simply Chartreuse ink for this. Get it lined up the best I can. And there is our pocket. So you could do your journaling on that. Um, even put a photo, meta photo on top of that. There's so many possibilities. And then what I did is I used uh, the Fun Green Boutique uh, paper pad and some Simply Chartreuse Bitty Dot and my notched flower die and created a few flowers, die cut flowers for the front pocket. I'm just going to layer those together. An aqua mist button and I'm going to use a sending you the sending you die again in some Simply Chartreuse felt and just make a fun little flower petal for my second page. 
Okay, we'll get started on our next page. I'm just going to show you three and then you can get started on your own and create them however you want to. I've gone ahead and stamped our sentiment at the top and once again I'm using paper from the green boutique paper pad. Just going to adhere that at the bottom and then comes the pocket. I'm going to go ahead and assemble the pocket and adhere it right here at the bottom. I've stamped our very card with the stamp already and then the next part is just embellishing the pocket. So some Simply Chartreuse Gingham, Simply Chartreuse Bitty Dot, our Aqua Mist Button and Classic Craft Leaf Cut using the Sending You Die. Okay, so we've got a few pages finished. You can finish as many or as few as you'd like for your book. Um, but we've got our cover and our inside pages. And now all we need to do is fasten them together. And for my mini album, I use 12 inches of vintage cream grow grain. You could use anything you wanted, but we're just going to thread those three through each page, the hole at the top, and tie them in a big bow and you're set to go. Okay, just plumping up my bow. Everything's ready. It's ready to fill with pictures, tickets to Disneyland, memorabilia, um, anything you can think of. Anything that reminds you of the special person that you're making this mini album for. I can't wait to see your ideas. Mix up the paper, change your colors, and add your own personality and style to this, and it will be extra special. Thanks so much for stopping by.